Hey, loving hip hop fans. It's your girl, Angelica Wandu of The Shade Room, and I am here with two queens and a joker from Atlanta. Yeah, I'm be a king. <laughs> <laughs> we got Queen of Messy and Good Sis Carly Red in the building, y'all. Yeah, you know, I'm talking about shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling the same old stuff, just being as messy as I can be. Yeah, and we got, welcome to Queen of the Dance Hall, a spice in the building, y'all. What's, What's going on? And we got the man with the slickest hair in all of the planet, Jock in the building. But your hair ain't slick today. No, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't. It's just, you know. Welcome. I was so if you don't what know, today. now you know. Season 7 of Love & Hip Hop Atlanta airs two nights on VH1 at 8 p.m., y'all. So make sure you set your DVR, set your alarm, because it's going to go down. It's going to be a situation. We're here with Carly, Jock, and Spice, and we're going to ask them questions about the upcoming season. We're going to get your thoughts on your fellow castmates. We're going to talk about some tea that's in the streets. <laughs> and, of course, we're going to ask you guys to send in your questions, Shady Brunch. So make sure that you guys are sending in your questions right now in the comment section so that we can get to you guys soon, all right? And stay tuned for the entire program because we're going to give you a sneak peek of tonight's episode and it's going to be juicy, y'all. All right, so let's get into it. First of all, I want to know, how does it feel to have the, you know, episode coming on tonight? I mean, are you guys scared, nervous? What's up? Well, I'm new, so I think Carly, <laughs> she's over getting excited or whatever, but I'm new to it. It's going to be my first um Time, so I'm kind of excited, but I'm still curious because I haven't even seen the full episode. So I'm kind of wondering if you know my belly tucked in and right. you know, it's a <laughs> <laughs> yes. oh, I know, you know how the fans go. They'll find I know. Go. <laughs> you better believe that. So yeah, I'm kind of thinking, you know. If my right. wig was straight, yeah, stuff like that. All right, so how do you feel? How you feel? I mean, you are the veterans right now, so yeah. I mean, I, it, it doesn't. Even if it's you're a veteran, even if you know, it's always soon as it airs, it's always like, oh my gosh, what's, what are they gonna talk about? Mm -hmm. What's about to happen? Because you know, we see it when you guys see it. Right. 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 So it's not like we see it before you guys. So yeah. it, it, it's still that first moment with everyone else. Exactly. I mean, for me, you know, I'd be like, oh, Lord, what, what, <laughs> what have I done? Mm -hmm. what you don't remember done? what you did? You know what? I mean, it gets like that sometimes. Wait, so Carly, I mean, can you spill some tea on the upcoming season? How was it different from last season? <laughs> what is that You mean? look like, is it, is it, it must be popping. It must be going down. It's one of them seasons, man. I'm scared. You scared? Wow. <laughs> what you got to say? You scared? What you scared of? You scared you, of me? You and that booty? Oh, oh, yeah, anyway. big old booty. No, okay. I, you know what? I, I will say this. Um, it's, it's, always, it's always a turn up, and it's always a different kind of turn up. So you re get ready for the drama, get ready for the sexiness, get ready for the, the jokes and the laughs, get ready right. for, I mean, for us to just spill our lives as usual. Mm -hmm. But having the dance hall queen in the building, you know me. Yes. When this one come in, it's just automatic twerk session right. every time. <laughs> so, right. I mean, I was going to ask well, you. I have some tea. Right. I don't think Jock is over Carly. Oh! I don't think so either. It seems like he's not. I, mean, I don't think so. Like I didn't not. expect you not to say that. It seems like he's not, but we're going to get to that. We're going to get Can to that. Can you just well, give us? <laughs> so what I, I don't know. Know. <laughs> Can we get in the show first? I don't know. We need to get in. Obvious. She already giving out. It's obvious. So how does it feel to be the first dance hall obvious. artist on, okay. you know, loving hip hop? I mean, you represent it for your culture. You represent it for the music that everybody loves so much. How does that feel? It feels good. It's also all uh, pressure on my shoulder because everybody's looking to me yeah. um, right now to bring it for the entire Jamaica, for the entire culture. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it feels good. Right. I never disappoint my fans. I always bring it. So I think it's going to be great it's got to be spicy mm. something interesting something to look up look out for so at the end of the day i know i'm gonna bring it right i have something spicy you mm. know okay right. all the time so <laughs> and <laughs> it, you just, it should be interesting you spice to the loving hip-hop family last season yes. so how do you guys know each other well, I mean, of course I know it through the Jamaican community. I mean, mm. I, you know, my family is from the Caribbean Islands, mm. Trinidad, and, yeah. you know, my dad is half Jamaican. So I've been listening to Spice music from day one. Mm. And this, and I just respect her hustle and her game. I mm. respect, because, you know, I'm a hustle true to the heart. Like, I'm a hustle right. to the heart. And I respect the way that, you know, she just goes and gets it. And then 
she can make a crowd move. Mm. Mm. Like, I'm, I mean, you, you got to see this. Like, you, she can make a large crowd, like, just wow. move. Yeah. And it's amazing yeah. to see that. So, yeah. what do you know? <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, so you think it ain't a such thing as Google? So what advice do y'all have for her? I mean, coming on to the yeah. oh, especially gosh. with the other castmates. I mean, I don't really have no advice for Spice. I think Spice is a veteran in her own right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like Carly said, watching her move crowds, just having a certain level of confidence and um, mm -hmm. passion when she do what she does. And I mean, being in doing scene work with her, sometimes I be scared because you know she be making me feel like she's just gonna go all the way there and just. Do something that, that you don't expect. So she's blowing up on this season. Man. Wow. Could you see so nice? Oh my God. I, know, I don't know what you're talking about. I pray for every month. <laughs> oh, just put it like this. Spice is very spicy. Spice right. Are you crazy. afraid that y'all might fall out? You know, you get Oh, no. Her. I don't think Carly and I will. Uh, Would no, we? I mean, no, I don't think no. so. Like, and I'll be the first to say. But I, you I never know, you, I know, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to ever piss her off, but you know. Yeah. Hopefully cool. not. Hopefully y'all stay friends. Y'all cool. <laughs> y'all cool. I see that. All right. Well, Jack, <laughs> let's talk about you. Because uh -huh. you got, you know, your hairstyles be going viral, okay? Well, and we see you got, can we see, you take your hat off so we can see your new he hairstyle? Oh, some just, B2Bs we'll or see, we'll see, here it is. These people call me and they said, yo, we're looking to create this character. We already got the script he for a movie. Can I just can I just have my little moment, Carly? <laughs> Please take your yeah. moment. Yeah. I'm gonna take my moment right here with Jesus. Thank you. you got your little pig, little ponytail. <laughs> Thank you. Shit. Thank you. So but you doing a movie? Yeah. So they was just like, look, we don't we don't really know, but this is they gave me the the background, the gist of the character, and I was like, mm. oh, he sound like a cat from my hood. Right. So I asked, I went to um, my salon and asked my, one of my stylists. I was like, look, just give me some some crazy little plaques. Kind of like old dog from Inside Society or Criss Cross. And I walked in, they was like, we love it. How long can you wear it for? I was like, what you mean? Mm. So then we, we, you know, kind of been filming um, for the past couple weeks. And, um, yeah. Well, so you I know, just, you always talk about your hairstyles being about business. I know that Tyrese came at you not too long ago. It was on the shade room. That was Remember funny. that? that was I prefer funny, this yeah. one. What did Tyrese say? It's Tyrese was much. like, we need to stop wearing hair, our hair like this, you know, wearing dress, he addressed you wearing a dress before and all that. So how do you feel about all of the criticism? I don't even care. I think that's what, I think that's what makes me special to some people. Because they'll be like, yo, how, how can he do something so crazy and then just breeze through it? Somebody yeah. else be having nervous, break, emotional breakdowns, yeah. being suicidal on the way. Because yeah. people be coming to me crazy. Like, I probably got, like, when I did my hair like that, it was crazy because everywhere I went, I don't care if you was white, black, Puerto Rican, Asian, it was like, oh. Mm, mm. So I'm cool. I don't but you care. just you just don't care. You just who you I are. Don't you care. Know, I mean, you know. I'm gonna do right. what I want to do regardless. Right. Okay. So let's That's get into Carly because Carly, we was talking backstage, you know, about different deals you got. I mean, you're such a businesswoman. Last season we saw your Celine bag got thrown in the water. You was like, I'll get another one tonight. So we want to know, like, <laughs> how you getting all your money? Like, tell us all the sources and stuff of your income. Well, I mean, I'm always, always, always hustling. You know, mm -hmm. I've been acting since I was a kid. So mm -hmm. I'm on Saints and Sinners. We're in our third season. Mm -hmm. So I filmed season one, season two, season three. And um, my stores. Yes, mm -hmm. to Mercy. How are your stores doing? Yeah, yes, you, yeah. yes. It's in the North Point Mall. Mm -hmm. um, my stores are doing great. Uh, online stores doing great, you know, just continuing um, doing a clothing line. Mm. Man, anything that I can make five dollars or five cents <laughs> out of a watch line, a, a hairline, a this right. line, anything that That's I can, right. yeah, anything that I can make a check out of, That's I'm gonna do it. I mean, why, yeah. why stop? Why? Why even sit back and right. just watch everybody else make money? I need to get a little exactly. bit of that, Exactly, and you, we see you on the, I, I was looking at your gram, stalking you on the gram, and I'm like, she got bags and cars, and you, you seem like you really rolling in though, too. So how you get your, your ends? I'm fully booked. I have a show every weekend, or two shows per week, so I get okay. shows from my performances. <laughs> Are we kicking it tonight or something? I'm not being cocky. Yeah, and she got to wait. She got a show tonight. I'm not being cocky. I get my money from my shows. Well, I'm not being cocky. She got a show tonight. You got a show tonight? We're supporting. Oh, can we go? Yeah, <laughs> show it. What a show it. Yes. I, um, Man, that show I, I, I don't want it to be over. <laughs> She's no, like, no, I don't want anybody rolling up on me. That's what we want. We want it to be back. Kayak Club. It's going to be like a premiere because, you know, I'm new. So it's like a welcome, a viewing party because I'm new. So just so people can get to know me and find out more about Spice. Come. Very interesting. Okay. Of course, we can't cook. 
Okay, that question is a Chief Jamaican. What are you talking about? I can't All right, so Jack. Don't talk about the broccoli I made you. We know you hold it down for the fellas on Loving Hip Hop. So I want you to tell us who, which one of your homies is in the stickiest situation. Oh, shit. Oh. Hmm. Don't say Kirk because we know no, he always in his Kirk sticky always situation. Is in, Kirk every season, Kirk is in. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to say BK. BK. Probably BK. And who after that? Sean Garrett. Sean Garrett. Sean Garrett. Okay. Carly boyfriend. Oh wow, <laughs> wow, Carly. <laughs> Why are you jealous so much? I'm so funny looking at me. She's crying. Wait a minute, because you always are trying to find love, and you just—it seems like you have bad luck in the love department. <laughs> she so had what do you bad think luck that with me. Wait, what? You was my bad luck. Nah, Carly, you just was crazy. Your first well, name so is bad, that Carly bad, has bad luck. luck. So Carly has bad luck because she's crazy. Man, Carly, Carly let me walk into a studio session that I booked for her to record a song, and I walk in and Jeremiah is groping her ass. No, it didn't go down like this. That's how it went. No, no, no. <laughs> that's, that's exactly Don't you know all? He was teaching me the marathons. How just ran. I just saw it the other day. He was wow. teaching me how to use my vocals. And so you sing. think that you yeah. have vocals? <laughs> <laughs> so you I think you have bad luck? Up, <laughs> so Carly got bad luck because you always trying to get back at your dudes or something like that. You always probably. trying to you always trying to play games. Is that what it is? No, no, that's not why I have bad luck. I have bad luck because every man cheats. I haven't found a man that doesn't cheat. You Carly. did that, Jock. No. Oh, what? I don't think Spice? So. I used yeah. to go to the He's bar like and he would, get with him, we'll go to the restaurant bar with him. And while we're ordering food, he'll give the waitress his number. Wow, Josh. Maybe so he can put in an you order. That? Like, order. Did you cheat you on your, that, that you last girl that? that we saw you with? No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't cheat. Okay, Jack. All right. Yeah, right, right. All right, anyway. All right, Jack. All right. All right, so before we take some fan questions, let's get into a little game, a little uh -oh. messy game. It's called uh -oh. Mary, Smash, or Pass, okay? So I'm going to start Last with... Uh -huh. I'm going to start with you, Jack. Uh -huh. Yes, please. I'm going to start with you. I'm going to give you three names, and you're going to tell me if you will marry them, smash them, or pass, okay? Okay. okay. So first, we're going to start with Carly Red. Then I'm going to give you Estelita, okay? And then I'm going to give you Erica Mina. Marry, smash, or pass? You better say marry. God damn. Hold on. <laughs> Carly, Estelita, yeah. Erica Mina. And what's crazy, I'm cool with... <laughs> I'm cool with two of them. Me and Carly just kind of... I mean, Carly just kind of got back cool. Carly be treating me like I ain't shit, but... So, for the Mary, can we just exclude the Mary? Nah, we come on, answer. It's right. looking like Carly right now. It is, so, just say. Well, what? I know. <laughs> Carly really just want to smash. Carly don't want to be married. She already What are you talking okay, about? So I'm going to be married. Okay. So, who are you passing on? Don't, don't tell me what I'm going to be doing. So, I probably would pass on Estelita. Because that's the leader of my homie. You know what I'm saying? Mm. We, we cool. I wouldn't smash her. You know so that saying? means you leave it. Illy, you you will marry um, Erica Mina. Erica Mina. I wouldn't marry Erica. Me and Erica cool, but she crazy as hell. But I would probably smash Erica and Carly together. Okay. What? Okay. All right, no Carly. Way. <laughs> Can we smash together? No. Okay. See, this is what we talk about here. Okay. Right. See, Menage, this is why we Menage. are not. See, anyway. now you know why we Menage not together. Menage smash pass. Menage smash pass. Okay. No, it's anyway. not. That's not the name of the game. Okay, this so is why. See, Let's I told you I don't you want to be cheating. married again. Let's I was married for 12 years. I'm going to give you three names, Carly. So you got to tell me who you would marry, smash, or pass. So the first one, we're going to do Jock, of course. Then we're going to be a little messy. We're going to throw in Caesar. <laughs> and then after that, we're going to give you Benzino. So who would you marry, smash, or pass? <laughs> <laughs> Why you laughing so much? I mean, because this shit is interesting. This is entertaining. Oh, yeah, it's very interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Married well, Jock. since Jock said he don't want to ever be married, I'm going to give him the marry one. Mm -hmm. I'll marry Jock because he don't want to ever be married. So, um, I'll definitely... What? Mm -hmm. who, are you, who are you passing on? <sighs> Let's see. Benzino. Why are you touching me? Oh, I thought I was hitting my own leg. <laughs> Who you passing on? Okay, 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 okay. Um, damn. Mm. I'm definitely going to pass on, damn, Benzino. And I'll smash Benzino. Caesar. And you'll smash Caesar? Really, mm -hmm. after all y'all beef that y'all had, y'all just went at it, like, a couple months ago. <laughs> I mean, I mean you, you, a one-night smash. I don't hurt nobody. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so now you. 
Mm-mm. <laughs> I got to ask. She don't like this game. Mary day. Smasher Pass, we're going to ask Jock, Jock Scrappy, why? or Benzino. Why Jock? I could kind of see you uh, marrying Scrappy. Me? He's already married. No, I mean, but like, you know, if you had to choose one. Okay. So Jock, Scrappy, Benzino. Uh-huh. That's, how's Benzino getting this? But okay. <laughs> so, marry Scrappy. Mm-hmm. See, I told you I could, I could kind of see that. Because he got married, so he seems yeah. to be, a, you know, yes. not every yeah. man wants to be married. I, mean, I was married for 12 years. Mm. So really? I was definitely marriage material, yeah. yeah. Anyway, and not every man wants to get married. So, <laughs> since uh, Scrappy got married, he seems yeah. to be like the husband type. So, I would marry Scrappy, mm-hmm. smack Benzino, and pass on Jock because he's my friend. <laughs> Good. All right, y'all. So that was, mm. that, was that was a little messy over there. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, well, okay, we're going to get into the fan question. Right, you think I was going to say smack jock? Smack jock. <laughs> we're going to get into the fan questions. All righty. So question number one is for Carly. Mm-hmm. Eugenia Mercedes. I love that name. Eugenia Mercedes asks, will Carly Red ever get over jock? I mean, he's making it hard right now. Would you? She like. <laughs> I think Carly tried to smash tonight to keep it real. Whatever. I mean, Y'all got I'm, too much like chemistry I'm gonna going keep on right now. I, I just like kinda, them together. By I, way. Like, I, think I mean, Carly, I like them like, like together. Like In his head right now, we already having sex. Okay. Oh, okay. So, we but round no. two. What? None. Okay. So, so how so, long is it going to take? Um, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I would definitely. I would if. Yes, I would one day. If if if. One day. It's just that. You know, we've been around each other sometimes, and, you know, being yeah. we're, we're always in the same circles. Mm. You know what I mean? Somehow, one way or another, we're in the same circle. Right. So, when you go and go to church with someone every day, or you go into a store and you pass this person every day, it's like, okay, y'all going to end up, you know. So, are you over him? Yes or no? Am I over him right now? Yeah. How long is yeah, it going to take? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, question number two is for Spice. Lena Boo asks, what's your motto? What's my? What's your motto? In life, what's your motto? Enjoy it's good, work. better, best. Never let it rest until your good becomes better and your better becomes best. Okay, I she, love that accent. Okay, she had that yes. so damn. <laughs> All right. Is that like a Jamaican proverb? Right. <laughs> I know. You, sound like you read that from the Bible. <laughs> <word. laughs> <No. laughs> right. I said good, better, best. Never let it rest. Until your good becomes better and your better becomes your best. It sounds so much better when she says it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's why I, that's, you see, the thing is, because I've been, you know, kind of getting a lot of backlash because of my accent, Jamaican accent. I try to speak proper English so that oh, wider no, audience it. can culture. understand. Like, so, no, don't worry about it. I love it. I, I wish I, I had speak proper, they won't be able to understand. I wish I had an accent. Sometimes so, question I'm number three. <laughs> question number three is for Jack. Um, Elise Talimi, I love these names. Elise Talimi says, stop tripping. When are you two getting married to anyone again? Because it seems like y'all, I mean, I not the relationship issues y'all keep having. Y'all, when you get married, need to get married. Both of you need to get married. Question. Trust me. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> I had to be totally honest. I definitely <clears throat> want to be married again. I know I... <clears throat> time out for that spice. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all be so trying to play the matchmaker. All right. See, when I first met Carly, I was like, she might be all right. Because, you know, I saw her, you know, watching her on TV, and I was like, she's a gorgeous woman. I just can't believe that she's just crazy. But when I met her, she was nothing like that. And that's when, that's where she got me. I met a representative. And I was like, I think I'm rocking with this girl. So when you get married again, though? When you think, I mean, are you ready for marriage now? I am. You are? Yeah. What? Okay, Carly. Oh, yes. All right. I am. I am. You're so not ready for marriage. I, I totally am. Girl, okay, so question number not four is for Carly. Cassandra <laughs> Gittins. I can't with these names, y'all. Y'all are crazy. Okay, Cassandra Gittins asks, Carly, what uh, do you stay, why do you stay looking fabulous? Like, how do you stay looking fabulous? Aww. That is true, though, because you, I mean, you're ageless. Like, Aww, thank you, Cassandra. You, you, you're killing these, like, 20-year-olds out here. Aww, no, I'm serious. I mean, um, you know, I just be relaxing and chilling and keeping busy, drinking my water. Keeping busy. Yes, keeping <laughs> busy. Do you work out a lot? Like, what's your, I mean, you working out every day? What's up? I, I noticed you've been working out, but, uh, <laughs> um, no, I, I, 
I work out sometimes, but I'm, I'm, I do choreography, dancing. I keep busy with the things that I like to keep busy doing. Mm. So it's a lot of jeans. It comes with jeans too, right? You know? yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, mm. yeah. yeah. All right. But you know, I mean, I don't do the, the, the whole extra stuff that people, you know, do. I know people think that we go out every night, mm. we drinking every night. We, we, we don't really do that, you know? Yeah. We have okay. fun. So you say you just preserve yourself. Yeah. All right, question number five for Spice. Preserving all myself. <laughs> question number five for Spice. Rachel Moore says, I love her voice. Do you have an album out? Yeah. I have a lot of singles out. I'm working mm -hmm. on my album right now, so hopefully it will be yeah. released soon. But I have a lot of singles. You can follow me at Spice Official and search for all of my singles. I have Duffel Bag, Gum, TikTok, mm. Sheet. Mm. You saw Carly on the Sheet for the mm -hmm. la last season. <laughs> so I have a lot of songs out. But follow what's, me at Spice Official and you'll see them. What's the new one? What's the new one? Gum, Gum. TikTok, okay. Duffel Bag. TikTok sound like a banger, right? <laughs> TikTok. Like All righty. So, Alicia Lewis asked Spice, have you ever dated Vibes? I wondered that too. Vibes Ooh. Cartel? <laughs> yeah. <'cause> he <laughs> Everybody think that I had a sexual relationship with Vibes Cartel. Mm -hmm. The truth is no, we weren't in a sexual relationship. Mm. Mm -hmm. Vibes mm -hmm. Cartel is like um, the king of dance. Why are you looking at me like that? Mm. Mm. Well, you can't really date. You can't really date him right now. Now, I mean, yeah. no, he's incarcerated, but he's yeah. the king of dancehall, the new king of dancehall. So if I bring mm -hmm. up Vibes Cartel, he's like the one that gave me my first Billboard hit song, mm -hmm. "Ramping Shop." A lot of people know me from "Ramping Shop" because oh, that yeah, went yeah, yeah. Billboard. Can you sing like one line from me? So when you're coming, I'm a ramping shop. Make hey. sure you walk and I'm a chat, ya, hey. chat, chat. <laughs> Yeah. And you're not going to Jamaican clubs if you didn't hear that song. Like, that, that song Rampin was big. Shop. That okay. was a Neo Beat, uh, Miss Independent track. So, a lot of people know me from that song. That was exactly. my first major hit song, Ramping Shop Billboard. Right. But no, I was not in a sexual relationship with Vibes Cartel. Okay, good. We got that. Down. Yes. <laughs> All right, so Jasmine Williams asked Jock, hmm? are you coming out with any more music? Uh, yeah, actually, I'm working right now, man. Actually, I've been in the studio with Sean Garrett. Me too. We wrote a oh, song. that's kind of messy. <laughs> we just wrote a song called Carly, actually. So you been, <laughs> really? No, no, like seriously. <laughs> what, you, oh, you think I'm playing? lying, y'all. Oh, shit, shit. <laughs> nah, I've definitely been working a lot. Um, I've been doing a lot of writing, too, R&B stuff as well. So just, you know, you got to be passionate about certain things, man. And something like music, especially me being in Atlanta with all these new younger cats, mm -hmm. it, it, it kind of seems like it would be more beneficial for me to just go pick up some of that new talent and just kind of, mm -hmm hit them with some of the wisdom and the finesse that I have and, mm -hmm. and just, you know, help somebody else get on because it takes a lot out of you. Me right. having kids, me having other careers, doing other things. Like, I love music, but the mm -hmm. fact that you have to move around so much in order to really make the lifestyle worth it and make the money out of it that I don't think I'm as passionate as, as I was before I had an opportunity to experience what well, we want to hear some more music like. from you. I, mean, I got you. you know, I, mean, I got some stuff coming. I'm not lying. He about still that. remember the bangers, so. You